Well, guys, here is a brand new Victoria Free After Action Port. Another one that I did in one day. As this is one I wanted to play for quite a while. I tried this before, but had to, had to cancel it because game update broke the save. As this was the first time I did a full game as America. As I was very curious to play them. And I want to do a very interesting playthrough this time around, which I'll get to in a little bit. So, of course, I got very aggressive, building up the industry, and, um, taking over the continental U.S., took over all the rest of the Native Americans out here. I annexed, um, Texas, and eventually kicked Mexico's ass to get all the continental U.S. I took over Haiti, and then, <laughs> in a moment, I, um... Went after um, Columbia right here. And of course the British were involved too. So I beat the crap out of them. I got all of um, Washington, Idaho, Oregon, and British Columbia. And for some reason I got American Quebec too. Which is weird because they were not part of Columbia. But for some reason I got that. So yeah, after that I went after Cuba. And tried to take them over. And Russia stupidly got involved in the war. So you know what I did? With that, once that happened... I went and took Alaska from them. Yay! It was very easy. And I took Hawaii, actually, before I even took over the continental U.S. for a lull and all that. At one point in the game, I actually was in a customs union with Venezuela, Brazil, uh, Ecuador, I think New Granada, and Peru, Bolivia. But, of course, eventually, I decided to be a very naughty boy and go over the infamy limit for the first time, big time. And they all broke out, unfortunately. Which was like... Oh well, I'm America, I can handle my stuff on my own. So I, once I got Hawaii, I colonized a good chunk of the Pacific Islands. I even colonized parts of um, um New Guinea. And I got really balls and I took, went, on, went after the British and took over American Ontario. I wanted to go after Canada, which now became Rupert's Land. I focused on even more important things in my eyes. Which was, of course, I colonized parts of Africa and then eventually I took over... Um, all the Austria had um colonies down here. And I took them over because everyone and their mother kept attacking me. Gee, like um, containment wars in Vicky too. How nostalgic! And of course, I got b b busy in Asia. I actually puppeted. I mean, I puppeted Japan, and then I annexed them. I did the same thing to Korea, and I did the same thing to the Philippines. So Japan, Korea, and the Philippines are American territory. And in some cases, states now. I actually have 62 states, so it's 62 state flag. And of course, the main play for the game, one, of course, the Civil War happened in 1866. I almost had a reverse Civil War in 1859, where the um, religious in the North tried to do a Northern succession to ban slavery. But I quashed that really quickly before that could happen. And then, of course, I tried to ban slavery very, like in 1865, and that got the Civil War started. They, for some reason, they took Maryland, um, West, well, I know West Virginia was part of Virginia at the time, so that makes sense, but they took, for some reason, Maryland, Delaware, Kentucky, and Missouri, they took all the border states. And I don't know if my capital was, oh yeah, they took D.C. as well. So, I don't think I had a capital during that time or something like that, so I eventually decided to make my capital in New York for the hell of it. Especially since... We lost DC during the war, and then afterwards, the main th thing I wanted to do in this playthrough was I made America into a military dictatorship, or in this case, a junta. A junta. Now I made it into a dictatorship at first, had a really cool flag and all that, but unfortunately, event popped up where um, the trade unionists, even though they did not have any power whatsoever, because for like the last like 50 years in the game, it was just the armed forces and the intelligentsia that were in control, pretty much. And I kept suppressing and suppressing and suppressing all the others to try and keep them at bay. And the trade unions, even though they had no power, forced me back into a um, democracy. And I was like, fuck that shit. And I quickly, as soon as I could, went back to an um, autarky. No, wait, was it an oligarchy or alt? Um, let me see. Oligarchy, yeah. But for some reason this time... I, f I know I was in the middle of a war during this time, so maybe that made the difference, but I became a junta instead of a military dictatorship, and my flag didn't change. So that's kind of annoying because the military dictatorship flag was really cool. So yeah, after that, I went nuts. As I suppressed pretty much everyone, I banned everything, like no free speech, 
no elected bureaucrats and all that. I just went nuts. And it was insane. So, yeah. And because I let, um, the... Um, I, um... Automated a whole bunch of stuff like the last few years in the game. I ended up having the biggest GDP, not only in the world, but in a landslide, too. This destroys, like, doubles the highest GDP I ever had in this game. At one point, due to, I guess, glitches when I took over Japan, when they broke away from me, my GDP went all up to 1.5 billion at one point. So I got the achievement for getting a billion GDP, even though it was for only, like, a, a few seconds. And then it happened again when I took over Korea, got up to 1.3 billion before it crashed back down to, like, 700 million. So, yeah. The GDP massively grew, but unfortunately couldn't stay a billion. So I could say, hey, I had my first billion game. It was the first time I got to it, but it was only for a few seconds two times. But man, was it a struggle throughout the game to even have a decent um, economy. Near like 1920s, I was getting close to like bankruptcy. But I managed to pull through in the end. So yeah, this was a wild game. Hard to believe it wasn't even my highest scoring game ever. Persia still is. Insane. So yeah. I hope you all enjoyed it. Oh, yeah, I forgot, too. I took Greenland and Iceland away from Scandinavia, too. So, yay. And I took, um... I'll try I didn't take Bermuda and Bahamas from the British. I wanted to in a war, but they kept me from doing so. Because we were stuck in a stalemate. But, yeah. This was a wild game as America. And hope to eventually do better than this. And hopefully stay a dictatorship if I ever tried it again. Because that was a cool idea. You know, to try to do with other countries. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that, and now let's go take a look at the final results.